So once we have created some categories and we have added them to our navigation menu, we can start creating some blog posts for our demo content. Because once you create some demo content, it's much easier to understand how your finished product is going to look. It's much easier to customize your theme and basically customize your whole blog. So let's go ahead and add our first blog post. I just want to show you how WordPress text editor works. So let's go to post section and let's click add new. So so from here you will be able to add a blog post and as you can see right here you should give a title for your blog post and right here you will be able to add a content. But usually when I write blog posts, when I write content for my blogs, I like to write them in a text editor like uh, Microsoft Office Word or like uh, Google Docs because it's much easier to write content in the text editors when it's like writing in WordPress text editor and once you have finished writing text just copy the whole text and paste it right here and you shouldn't have any issues whatsoever because the WordPress text editor recognizes there's like your paragraphs, headings, like listings, all these type of content is being recognized by WordPress and it will be added in the content blocks. So I'm just gonna paste some content and I will walk you through the most important content blocks. So alright, as you can see I finished adding content and when I add blog posts I usually use just a couple of content blocks. For example I use paragraphs, I use headings and I use images. That's all I use most of the time. Sometimes I use embed YouTube videos and as you can see right here this is how my blog post is going to look and as you can see this blog post was created using content blocks. So as you can see this is a block of content and it's called paragraph block and you can find these blocks right here. But uh, as I mentioned mentioned you before once you paste your content into WordPress text editor it automatically recognizes which uh, content block was pasted and it automatically recognized that it's a paragraph it, it was a heading here we have another paragraph and all I had to do is just do some layout adjustments I added some spaces in between paragraphs and headings as you can see right here I added the space and to add a space you would have to go right here in content blocks and you would find this space block in layout elements right here spacer and as you can see right here we have lots of different content blocks and it's completely up to you what type of blocks you're planning to use as I mentioned to you before most of the time I only use paragraphs headings images sometimes YouTube embed videos and uh, to find these blocks you would have to look all through these content blocks which are available right here for example if you want to add embed YouTube video you would have to click right here and just like that you can add a YouTube video Facebook post Instagram post or a tweet from Twitter so basically we have lots of different content blocks and I highly recommend you to test them out yourself uh, to see which you are planning to use yourself because otherwise you're not going to learn much if you're not going to practice yourself so I highly recommend you to test everything yourself to see how it works and if you mess up something don't worry you can always start from the beginning so like I said for this blog post I used paragraphs so as you can see right here I use paragraphs I use spaces as you can see you can also move Move each block by clicking right here or you can move by dragging anywhere you want and once you add spaces for example you can change the size of space you can duplicate uh, blocks once you click right here you can click duplicate and you will duplicate the content block and you can delete it as well by clicking right here remove block so like I said I use paragraph I use some spacers I use some headings right here you can even choose a different level of a heading and uh, right here we have some other paragraphs and added an image so to add an image you would have to go right here again and select an image block just like that added some spaces as well so as you can see this block is a list block it's very easy to add it just go right here and you will find it it's going to be called list and I will show you what else I added so as you can see I added the image just like the previous image added again some paragraphs I added a table with the information by clicking right here in formatting section I selected table so just look around see what type of content blocks you might use like I said most of the time I only use paragraphs headings images sometimes embed YouTube videos just like the this one right here so it's very simple it's very easy to use and uh, in the past the WordPress text editor used to be not so flexible but nowadays it's extremely flexible and you can easily create a nice looking blog post so once you have finished adding content we will go back to this uh, SEO plugin later on I will show you how to optimize your blog post with keywords uh, because there's like a lot of things to talk about it so later on we will 
will come back to this section but for now it's important to know how to use content blocks how to add content to your blog and once you have finished adding your content all you have to do is just go to document section select your category so obviously the category for this blog post is going to be dropshipping right here and you should add a featured image for this blog post so all you have to do is just click right here and you should go to your media library or you can upload images yourself by uh, selecting from the file or dragging files in this section so let's go back to media library and let's select our featured image so I guess I'm gonna select this image all right and let's click select image so once you have finished adding content you can publish or if you want you can preview how it's going to look so let's click on preview and as you can see this is how our blog post is going to look so it has our featured image it has our title so we have some paragraphs we have spaces in between paragraphs and headings we have images so we have we have a table and we have embedded youtube video so just like that you can add blog posts so as i said if you are satisfied the way this blog post look we can go back to our wordpress text editor and we can click publish so as you can see just like that i added some demo content as i mentioned you before because it's going to be much easier to customize our theme so let's go to our homepage and let's see how our blog looks now so as you can see this is it how it looks uh, with demo content and from here it, it's going to be much easier to customize our theme because we will have a better understanding how our finished product is going to look so basically this is it this is how you add blog posts to your blog as you can see it's quite easy i highly recommend you to go and test blog elements because by following this lesson you will not be able to add a blog post so first of all you need to know how to use wordpress text editor and you should get more familiar with it so as you can see this was our first blog post and this is how it's going to look 